Gotta make sure my GoPro doesn't get wet. <laughs> Anywho. Wow. Welcome back to the channel. It is a brutally hot day out here in LA. It's kind of steep. I'm out here in Elysian Park. I do see cops and a few fire trucks and a helicopter up in the sky going in circles. We're gonna go down to the street, see if we could find somebody we can ask about. So let's go find out. It was a brush fire. Oh, really? Yeah, and by the time I showed up, they wanted us to close off the streets. I didn't see any smoke. Really? They wanted me to close off the street for no reason. Huh. They had all their cars like parked at an angle, all their trucks. Uh -huh. So they were taking up you know, this, the safety lane in that one lane. Really? So they, everybody could have driven in that lane and went by. But I guess they didn't want that too. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. Fire department, they'll open it up when they open it up. I don't know. But yeah. There was a big old, it wasn't a super scooper, but there was a huge, I can kind of see the concern, but yeah, if there was traffic going up there, yeah, it's closed for a lot. But here, well, maybe it's better to be safe than sorry too, right? Eh, uh, you know. I... If it would have did rush and come over here, then they'd have to close it down. Then it <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you're good there. Enjoy your ride, be safe, okay? Okay, thanks, man. That was a very pleasant uh, experience with a parking meter. Typically some of the least liked in LA, but that guy was very pleasant. Nobody likes the parking meter guys because you know, they just hand out tickets left and right. That's their job. That's how they create revenue. And I'm sure they have a quota. That was pretty nice. I can't lie. It was a, it was a decent dude. He gave me the information I was looking for and uh, we're off. So anyways, let's go up here and see what the uh, aftermath is. I don't see a single firefighter, or paramedic, nothing. It's like they already took off. They were saying it was right here, which looks like it would have been hard to get up to. As you guys may have noticed by the last few fires we have pulled up on, uh, usually there's water in the streets from them accessing a hydrant. Oh, speeding, oh my gosh, something's going down. We just saw that first cop speed pass when we first pulled up. Now we got, and we got that. So here's the one fire truck we can see. As far as I can tell, this is the only one that uh, is even here at the scene. I mean, it's easy to tell how a brush fire could have started here. It's a really hot and dry and windy day. The fire truck just kind of here. Nobody's even here. I would like to ask him uh, what happened. We're gonna go up here. This is Solano Canyon. We're right by Elysian. So here's the water. We're gonna get our tires wet. Oh, here's the here's the fire trucks lined up. But pop on the sidewalk here. Looks like a truck's trying to come the opposite direction. You know what's funny? This is the route that we took that one time. Another day, another brush fire, huh, folks? This is the route that we came through that one time we were with uh, Dan the Man. This is where we came. We were going right through this way. You know, there's power lines here, so I'm sure they were definitely trying to take this fire down quick. Usually we can go up that path. I don't, I would imagine it's not the case today, but uh, you can take this path and it's like, a, it's like a running route that goes all the way around. What goes down here? I've never even seen this route. We didn't check this out at all. This is kind of cool. Looks like we're on the 110 freeway. I feel like I might run into an animal back here. Oh yeah, this is an off-ramp for the freeway. Fun fact, five years ago, I made a video standing up there like an idiot with my BMX bike and got a thumbnail looking down. Uh, but this is the 110 freeway. It's more of a highway, you know? I don't know what the actual difference is between the two terms, but as you can see, it's like directly connected to the neighborhood. This is really uncommon for freeways in LA uh, for them to turn out directly onto the neighborhood street. You see it with a couple of other ones like the 710 Interstate cars are flying, so we're not gonna go on the road right here. <laughs> Definitely not gonna do that. Another thing about this freeway, it's notoriously difficult to get on and off. Like, as you can see, you enter right here from the street and then you're competing with cars going 70 miles an hour. So uh, if your car doesn't have horsepower, you might have a bad time. Anyone, if you've ever dealt with the 110, you know what I'm talking about. Leave a comment below if you have. Anyways, looks like this fire is all but dealt with i do see somebody up there walking we are gonna go check it out why not huh she's walking her dogs i don't know how she just got through i don't think we're gonna be able to get through actually that answers that that's how we're getting today started yet another fire man they're just back to back literally every day I've gone out to make a video in the past, uh, I don't know, I want to say like the last week, every single day I've ran into a fire. <laughs> People coming through here probably have no idea that a brush fire was just going down. It looks like they contained it so fast. I mean, there's no evidence really that anything was even burning. Not even that many engines left. Tons of cars were there, but it looks like there's only like three or four, four fire engines and uh, a couple pickups. Anyways, let's get our day started out here. Hot, windy day in Los Angeles. Let's hit the city. Got the sheriff. 
going to shred through Chinatown. Look at this cool, I don't know what this is, maybe a Buddhist temple? It just looks so sick. We're actually going to park and go up here and look. I've never looked at this. Let's take a gander. Donation. I don't have any cash. Hello. Pretty cool. I have no idea what that is. I think it's either a church or a restaurant. I couldn't really tell. It smelled like food. Lots of cool places like that in Chinatown. You know what's funny? Over here, the wind is so brutal. Now I smell the smoke from the fire. I can definitely smell like some type of smoke. This is Broadway. I would mob down the street here, but cars just come flying down here at ridiculous speeds. I've seen cars going over 100 miles an hour down this street. I am intrigued as to what those police officers were speeding towards. We're going to check the app one more time, see if we see anything. Looks like there's a structure fire going down off a of gauge in Avalon Boulevard. That's way down in Florence, so I don't think we're gonna be able to make it to that. It's a fun area to ride in. It's just, right now it's not a great time because there's so many cars going around. Looks like there's a paramedic here for a most likely unrelated incident. Don't know what that's about. Hopefully everyone's fine. We got a stair climb into a stair bomb. Can't say no to these. Oh my God. Those stairs hurt my soul and my inner tubes, most likely. <laughs> Here's another example of what I'm talking about. Look, this is the freeway. <laughs> That's literally the freeway right there. That's an on-ramp, and this is like, I guess if you don't actually want to go on the freeway, you can go through there. So we can hit the freeway right here if we wanted to. We will not, though. Dude, look at this little thing they have in their house. It's so cool. <laughs> they got a little Japanese or Chinese-style bridge. I don't know what those characters are. But I like it. Look, it even says no crossing. <laughs> that is super neat. They have like a little terrace thing built right there. That's awesome. Whoa, this guy has three rare old school BMWs just parked up. Aren't these, uh, are these 2000s? BMW 2000? 2002? Something like that? What are they called? I'm so out of the car scene. I don't even know what these are called anymore. But I know this one, this body style is rare. And people go nuts over this old school Mercedes style too. Fun fact, good friend Alfredo Mancuso had this car for the longest. He had a four door version though. And uh, we would just mob around in it. We'd throw our bikes in the back and we'd go like ride stuff, film stuff. Also got the Fair Lady Z. I love these cars, 280ZX. Whoever owns these cars is chilling, dude. There's some really cool stuff back here. Hopefully one day they get to restore them. And a weird little cut in the neighborhood. I just respect that lineup right there that's very nice chinatown never been this far in on broadway so we're just seeing what's going on back here you know what's going on over here looks like the road is partially closed for utility work hope that's not fresh tar that i just mobbed over we're gonna bend it right here got an e-bike gang yes sir this is like the coolest part of chinatown right here there's like a little uh plaza looks like everything's closed right now though or there's just nobody back here. It's kind of giving me liminal spaces vibes. Oh, here's some people. Chinatown, folks. Very cool. Very, very cool. If I'm not mistaken, there used to be a statue right here. Maybe I'm wrong. But, uh, off we go. So far, so good on the Chinatown route. We are going to hit a left right here and then go check out the state park. There are more fire engines, dude. I feel like... Today is going to be a very fire heavy day. It's kind of like a little overcast, but it's it's so hot, dude. You can't really, obviously you can't tell with the video, but. I feel like as far as threats to your survival in LA, like a fire that starts in your own house. Well, you know, I don't know how many people pass away from fires each year, specifically in LA either, but it is definitely I'd say the most common way that people lose their property and just, you know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'm sure someone will pull up the stats, but I would, I would imagine that there's far more property damage and value lost from fires in LA than there is from like burglaries or actual straight up theft of any kind. Be my guess, I don't know if that's actually true, but I feel like it might be, especially when summertime comes out here and it's hot and you know, everything's burning. There's fires, like I said, every day. I mean, the typical fire is gonna cost a lot more than the typical burglary, I imagine, right? Anyways, way off topic, we are mobbing Chinatown. We're actually leaving Chinatown right now. We're going northbound towards San Fernando Road. And uh, we're gonna see what's going on up here. Traffic all over the place. There's usually no traffic right here, but looks like everyone got diverted off of Broadway for that fire that just happened. Even though it's totally, uh, under control, you know, they'd rather be safe than sorry out here. Out here on Avenue 18. You know what it is, folks, checking out places that we have truly never been before. Let's go down Avenue 18. And I guess you could say it's East LA. If we keep going this way, we end up in Boyle Heights. So that's kind of an idea where we're at for the Google Maps head to watch. I think there's a park right here. I don't, oh, this is this park. Man, I've been here in a long time. It's actually a pretty sick park they have right here. 
couple little back routes. If I'm not mistaken, there is a way onto the riverbed through here. I think the riverbed has water in it right now. I mean, it's so hot. Yeah, it kind of does, just in the middle. It's like there's a way right here. That's you know, totally a way, but it's going to be a pain to get my bike down there. There's much easier ways down there on the riverbed, so maybe we'll check that out today. Back out in the valley once again. Big structure fire over here on Van Owen and Beck Street. Uh, pretty deep out in the valley. That's a town that I never really come to. I don't come down here for any reason at all, really. Huge fire. Police have the street blocked off. We're going to see how close we can get, if we can get close at all. Can I go around here? No, it's closed. Can I go through here? No, go down that way and go around. Okay. What caught on fire? Structure fire. Well, let's try and go around. We'll go around this block and make two lefts. It should put us a little bit closer. Lots of traffic getting diverted from this fire. Who knows what started it? I would guess that uh, it's probably stemming from an RV. There's tons of RVs in this area, just um, both on the block. I mean, you kind of smell like uh, oil, I think is what I'm smelling. Doesn't really smell like gas. <sighs> Look at this scene right here. Firefighters hustling. We're gonna try and get on the sidewalk right here. We did have the right call though to go around. Definitely a good idea. Look at this. They're sawing something, it sounds like. Oh yeah, that house one. Oh, looks like the fire is still ablaze. Definitely still blazing. They're trying to get in through there. Yeah, the saw's on. and they're trying to cut through a door. I wonder if they're trying to save someone inside. The fire is still definitely in blaze. What a wild scene this is right now. People standing around all over the place. There's a news crew guy right there. I don't know if you can see him. I'll try and punch in. Craziness. I don't even have my phone, I just realized. I'm going to try and sneak through the massive crowd of people a little bit. This is what you get. This is what you get for you. Uh-oh. That guy's definitely not happy. Sounds like boats are involved. People's boats are on fire. I'm kind of stuck right here. I can't really get through that way. Wild scene, dude. They got the hazmat mask on, which tells me that whatever it is, you don't want to breathe it. Crazy scene. This guy's in the street. He doesn't You see what started the fire? I don't know. No idea? What is this, like a boat storage place? Yeah, a boat. They fix boats and make uh, hot rods. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Looks like they got that door open. I used to live up there a long time ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, there's, so they're seeing if there's people inside there, probably, huh? I don't know. Okay. He made it out sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes he didn't want nobody up there. Really? Wow. I sold it, too. Jeez. No way. What a wild scene, folks. This is just, this is one of the wildest things we've ridden into by far. We're going to back up a little bit. We're definitely uh, very in the mix here. Start creeping our way around here. It's just going on this way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Huge response. Massive, massive incident. <laughs> People just kind of standing around. Let's take a view of it from this side. So in total, I count about uh, 11, maybe 12 fire engines. This actually just started. I saw the, the black flames as I was on the freeway heading north back to my house in Valencia, which is that way. Looks like I might be the only one here recording it besides re regular people. And that news crew, I don't know what news crew that is. I'm trying to see our microphone, but I can't really tell. Looks like there's a leak in that hose over there. 
firefighters put in work in every direction. So apparently it's a hot rod and boat repair place. Who knows what could have started the fire. Anyways, when I was coming down, I saw big black smoke, which means that the fire was out of control. They quickly took care of that. And uh, yeah, now it looks like they just it mainly got it under control. If you guys saw when I pulled up here, they had the saws out. I was trying to see if there was anyone up there, maybe upstairs, or or if they could probably get to the fire quicker or something. But kind of hard to tell exactly what's going on. I'm trying to pop up on the curb here. Get a wider view from the street maybe without going over the uh, hose. Apparently that is a crime. I had heard that was a crime to ride over the hose and it is true, it is. Police officers got the street blocked off, parking enforcement. Anyways, nothing really going on this way. Actually, let's try and get across the street. LAIT 911. There's a wide view. Looks like the fire is totally under control. Hey, how you doing? Still wondering what could have caused the fire. This is just a wild scene, man. Right in front of these people's houses, we saw that one guy who was really upset. Sounds like his boat caught on fire. Um, his hose has a leak in it, so that's going on. I'm feeling a slight breeze. It feels great. We're getting another hose into action. Sounds like another fire engine is pulling up as well. Wrapping around, don't want to get in anyone's way. Guys trying to get his truck out of Dodge, I don't blame you. Oh, you gotta cover the GoPro for a second, sorry, I don't want to get to get wet. Uh, we're actually gonna move, I, I wanted to get this shot. Oh, I'm getting soaked. <laughs> I am getting soaked. We can't go this way down the street. They have it blocked off. That's what the cop told us to not go through either. So we're not gonna risk that. From here, we have a couple ways to get out of here. We pretty much saw it. They got the fire under control. Trying to make sure my GoPro doesn't get wet. <laughs> Anywho. Wow. Just another day in LA. Today was actually a really chill day too. It wasn't that hot, so I'm surprised the fire kicked off. But like I said, folks, it's gonna be the trend all summer. More fire engines pulling up, but it looks like the smoke is, is it's still going a little bit. We're gonna try and get back to the other side of the street. Another fire engine pulling up. We are going to wrap back the same way we came, see what the situation is with the fire. Probably out by now, hopefully. Is it entirely out? I mean, luckily it sounds like nobody was injured. I don't see a single stretcher. There's not even any uh, ambulances. So I assume everybody got out safe. The only loss is that of property. Property damage, that is. But from here, yeah, it looks like it is mostly under control. Incredible the amount of water on the ground. We're gonna have to go this way to get back. It's like it's mostly under control. Look at that scene, that is a photo. I wish I had my phone. The one time I forget my phone, that is an incredible shot. They do have one stretcher out, so it's probably just in case there's a problem. But it uh, looks like it's totally under control. It looks like they're trying to pull something out of that garage. Whatever's in there is continuing to burn just a little bit. Well, I give endless props to firefighters, man. They are some tough dudes. Half of them in there, absolutely no masks. Some of them have gas masks on. If I punch in, you can see one or two of them have gas masks. But all these guys right here, none of them have masks. They're just sitting there tanking the smoke, man. That is hardcore stuff right there. As always, a big salute to our LAFD and uh, the whole county of Los Angeles firefighters. They are doing an incredible job day in and day out.
boys in blue. Just observing the scene. Yeah, it looks like everything's mostly under control. So, looks like they didn't take anything out of that garage. I wish I could get in for a closer shot for you guys, but I don't want to get yelled at. I think I'm about as close as I can get. Looks like they're turning the hose back on. After something else, it's slightly ablaze. But, wow, I'm most, uh, I'd say I'm most surprised by the size of this fire. It's a really small building, but whatever was in there was burning really intensely. It must have been an engine, right? I mean, if anyone in the comments has any guesses of what it could be, uh, let me know what usually burns like that. Pretty, uh, pretty wild, the size of the fire that started out here. Anyways, out here in North Hollywood, California, uh, Van Owen Street and Farmdale Avenue. Big fire went down, put out real quick. How's that guy just walking out of there? Maybe he lives there, or he's working there, one of the two. Uh, at this point, looks like they are, there's still something ablaze in there. You guys can see there's smoke kind of like seeping out of the, of the garage. And uh, it actually looks like it's picking back up. Somewhat. That guy has some type of hook thing. He's about to go in there and do something. Very intrigued with the techniques they have and use to uh, handle like something like this. It's so dangerous, you know, to just walk in there and handle it. Got a good view of the fire out here in North Hollywood, California. We're going to make our leave. Got to get through the lake. Like I said, pretty nice day. It's about 75 degrees out here. Surprised that that went down like that. Let's just go ahead and get through this nasty, muddy water. It's absolutely, probably toxic water. Crazy, folks. Yet another wild day in LA. Madness. Fire engines everywhere just on call. Wild day, folks. We're going to wrap it up there. As always, whether you're watching on a tablet, phone, or the television. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video very soon. Take care, stay safe, peace out.